This is a message from the Book of Truth. It's from our Lord Jesus Christ on Tuesday, October 21st, 2014, titled, Accept the Truth Given to You in the Book of Revelation. My dearly beloved daughter, when prophecies were given to God's children from the beginning, they created fear in the hearts of men. This was because of the doubts that existed in the minds of those who did not believe in God and the comfort that man felt in his natural earthly surroundings. It was easier to accept a life of imperfection than to believe in one that existed in the supernatural. God did not send his prophets to frighten his children. He sent them to warn them of the dangers of creating a deep gulf between man and God. In that gulf, if that gulf became wide enough so that the majority of souls rejected God, then he always intervened in order to save them. God has always intervened through his prophets, and it was through his prophets that God was able to educate his children in the ways of the Lord. Without God's prophets, man would not have been given the truth. What God gives his people through the written word, let no man pull it asunder. Man is not worthy to change the word of God, nor is he fit to change the meaning of the word, nor does he have the right to do so. If a man takes the word of God and deliberately misinterprets it to hurt others, then this is a grave sin. There have been many who have tried to change the meaning of the word but failed. Yet there are those who created versions of the word, which varied from the full truth, and people were none the wiser. I do not hold these souls accountable because they used the word only to give glory to God. When I came to preach the truth, I was feared. All the prophets before me were also feared. They, just like me, were hated for bringing humanity the truth through the spoken word. The book of Revelation, given to John the Evangelist by the power of the Holy Spirit, has been ignored by my Christian churches. It is rarely discussed in many of in men and it, it is rarely discussed, and many in my church dismiss it as being irrelevant. The time has now come for the truth to be finally spoken and for men to make a choice. Accept the truth given to you in the book of Revelation and prepare so that all will be in place and pleasing to me on the great day, or ignore the word and promise to come again. Turn a deaf ear to my pleas, but remember, I will come like a thief in the night, and only those who welcome me and accept my mercy will be mine. I warn you only because I love you. Were it not for my love, I would cast the human race into the wilderness. So ungrateful are their souls. Your Jesus. God bless you.